So, you want to express yourself but aren't quite sure how to start a blog. Maybe it's a food diary, a travel journal, or even a side hustle that could blow up one day. Whatever your goal is, today's the day to get it started. And no, we're not creating some cheap-looking free blog that people scroll past. We're building something premium. High-quality content, professional feel, and real potential. And to make that happen without spending thousands of dollars, we're going to use one of the most beginner-friendly hosting providers for blogs out there, Hostinger. And, and this is key, I'll walk you through two approaches. The website builder for the easiest, fastest way to launch your blog, and WordPress if you want more control and customizability. Let's learn how to start a blog for beginners and actually make it successful in 2025. If you don't have a hosting or subscription yet, you can grab one of the best shared hosting plans right now using the link in the description. And yes, it'll automatically apply the most up-to-date hosting or discount. So that's a win-win. Why hosting her? Three big reasons. First, it's super affordable and lets you build up to 25 blogs on a single subscription. Second, there are no limits on visitors or how much money you can make. Everything you earn is yours. And third, you can use both WordPress and Hostinger's website builder under the same plan. That means you could run a more complex blog on WordPress and a few simpler ones with the builder, just like I do. Also, every Hostinger plan is perfect for blogging. Hosting and a domain name are already included with your subscription. We're not using any free blogging platforms here, and there's a good reason for that. Most blogs on those platforms get, what, maybe three comments in their entire lifetime? That's because when you don't invest in your content, most internet users won't invest their time either. Why should they? When there are more refined and enjoyable blogs out there. We want to stand out. Plus, once you actually start making money blogging, those free platforms suddenly aren't so free anymore. Bottom line, we're starting with the best blogging tool to create a blog that feels premium and actually draws readers in. All right, so if you're looking for a super beginner friendly, no coding required way to start a blog, and you're only planning to post a few times a year or maybe a few times a month, then Hostinger's Website Builder is your best bet. Just keep in mind, it's not built for full-scale content management and can feel a bit limiting if you plan to post frequently or grow a more dynamic blog. If that sounds like you, feel free to skip ahead to the next section. But for those sticking with the builder, here's how to get started. Use the discount link below and pick a website builder plus hosting plan. I recommend starting with the cheapest plan. You can always upgrade later as your blog grows. After signing up and confirming your email, you'll jump into the setup. Here's where it gets fun. You can either start with a pre-made template, which I actually love, they're modern and varied, or you can describe your vision and let the AI generate a design for you. Is the AI always perfect? Absolutely not. Sometimes it creates these weird Frankenstein looking sites, but the beauty is you're not stuck. You can regenerate the design as many times as you want until you get something that almost matches your vibe. You'll be able to customize it later anyway. Oh, and one more thing. Hostinger's AI actually gets context right. So no more AI tools adding cat fakes to your dog blog. Managing and designing your blog with Hostinger's website builder is super easy. You get intuitive drag and drop controls along with grids and rulers to help keep everything aligned. You can tweak or add individual elements, or if that feels like too much, just drop in entire pre-built sections to speed things up. Honestly, between the AI generated layouts and pre-made templates, most of you won't need to dive too deep into design. But just in case, I'll leave a tutorial link in the description for a more detailed walkthrough of how to use the builder. Once your blog design is ready, it's time to focus on what really matters, your content. In the builder, head over to the left-hand sidebar and click on the blog section. That opens up the blog manager where you'll see some sample posts already in place. You can delete these or simply edit them to kickstart your own content creation. To create a new post, just click the plus add post button. This opens up the post editor where you can start by adding a clear attention grabbing title at the top. Then move on to your main content using the formatting tools provided. You can insert headings to break up your text, use bullet points or numbered lists for clarity and add images to make your post more visually appealing. On the right hand side or within the post settings panel, you'll find options to organize your content with categories and tags. Categories help group similar types of posts like travel, tech reviews, or lifestyle. Tags, on the other hand, are more specific keywords that make your content easier to find for both readers and search engines. Think budget travel, vegan recipes, or smartphone camera tips. To help your post rank better on Google, scroll down to the SEO settings section. Here you can add a custom meta title and description. 
These are what appear in search engine results. So make them clear and enticing. You can also edit the URL select to keep it short and relevant, like myblog.com slash vegan dash lasagna, instead of a random string of numbers. Next, upload a featured image. This acts as your post thumbnail on your homepage or blog feed. So choose something eye-catching and relevant. Once you're happy with everything, click preview to see how your post will look when it's live. Lastly, click publish. And from there, you can either connect a domain you already selected during setup or purchase a new one. I recommend choosing a name with blog in it, but that depends on your SEO and branding strategy. Just remember, domain names renew annually. So if you're planning to blog long term, make sure you're comfortable with the renewal pricing. Now, let's talk about monetization. At the moment, Hostinger's website builder is somewhat limited in this area, but here's the good news. It's one of the few platforms that shares a public roadmap of upcoming features, and it even lets you request what you need. So depending on when you're watching this, monetization tools may already be improved. For now, you can connect your blog to Google AdSense and manage ads from there. Just be aware that sometimes ads may interact oddly with the builder layout. So you always test how your site displays across different services and browsers. And that's it. Your blog is live. It looks great. And with consistency, it could even start earning revenue in the coming months. Best part? Unlike most website builders, Hostinger lets you export your blog to WordPress. So you can start simple and scale up when you're ready. Now let's talk about building a WordPress blog. The right choice if you're after more customization and flexibility. The setup process is almost the same as before, and hosting your step-by-step -step guide will walk you through it. Don't stress, you can't really mess anything up, so don't be afraid to experiment and explore. Once you create a new website, you'll be asked to choose a theme. For a simple, clean blog, I recommend starting with the default WordPress theme. But if you want something more visually appealing, go with Astra. It's lightweight, customizable, and blog friendly. When it comes to plugins, the one must have is Google Site Kit. It helps you track your blog's performance, integrate with Google Analytics, and even set up AdSense to monetize your site, all in one dashboard. As for your domain, try to pick something relevant and easy to remember, like myblog.com. But ultimately, Go with what fits your content strategy or just sounds cool to you. During the initial setup, you'll be asked to select a global server location. Don't overthink it. Just choose the one closest to your audience or current location. And don't worry, Hostinger lets you switch servers once a month for free, so you can always adjust later. Give it a moment to install, and you're in. Once WordPress is installed via Hostinger, it's time to customize the look of your blog. Head to your WordPress dashboard, and from the left-hand menu, click on Appearance, themes. This is where you can browse through dozens of designs and choose one that fits your blogging style. Some beginner friendly blog optimized themes I recommend are Astra, Ocean WP, and Neve. They're all lightweight, fast loading, and highly customizable. Great for creating a clean, professional blog without needing to touch code. When you find a theme you like, just click install, then hit activate to apply it to your site. After your theme is set up, it's time to install a few key plugins that add useful features to your blog. Head over to the WordPress dashboard and in the left-hand menu, go to plugins, then add new. Start by searching for Yoast SEO. This plugin helps optimize your posts for search engines by guiding you through keyword usage, readability, and metadata setup. Next, install Jetpack, which is a powerful toolkit by WordPress.com that includes security features, performance enhancements, and built-in site stats to help you track your blog's growth. You'll also want WP Forms, a beginner-friendly plugin that lets you easily create contact forms with drag and drop functionality. Perfect for letting your readers get in touch with you. And if you want more visual control over your site's design, you can install Elementor. It's optional, but incredibly popular, giving you the ability to build and style pages visually without writing any code. With your tools in place, you're ready to start your easy blogging journey. From the WordPress dashboard, go to Post, then click Add New. Start by giving your post a compelling title and begin writing your content in the editor. You can format your text using headings, create bullet points, insert images, and even embedded videos to make your posts more engaging. On the right side of the editor, you'll find options to assign categories and tags. These help keep your content organized and make it easier for readers to explore your blog. For example, if you're writing a travel blog, you might have categories like Europe or budget trips while your tags could be more specific like Paris, backpacking, or hotel reviews. Once your first post is ready, it's time to fine tune your site's appearance. 
Head over to Appearance and click Customize to open the WordPress Customizer. This is a live preview editor where you can tweak your blog's design. You'll be able to adjust colors, choose fonts, upload your logo, and modify your homepage layout. You can even decide whether your homepage should display your latest blog post or a custom landing page. Take some time to explore the settings and make sure everything reflects your style and purpose. Once you're happy with how it looks and your first post is good to go, hit publish. Just like that, your blog is live for the world to see. Just be aware that while plugins are great, they can sometimes be outdated, abandoned, or pose security risks. You'll quickly learn that having a few essential plugins is way better than bloating your site with dozens that serve tiny, unnecessary purposes. Fortunately, Hostinger provides a bunch of tools to help you manage WordPress more efficiently. Use the auto-update feature. It not only keeps your plugins and themes current, but also scans for potential security issues. Run the built-in speed test a few times a year to monitor performance. If your site starts lagging, Hostinger offers clear, actionable advice on how to fix it. And don't sleep on the AI tools. They've got a built-in troubleshooter that can resolve common issues in seconds, plus an AI chatbot that actually understands what you're asking and can guide you to the right settings or answers almost instantly. Starting a blog doesn't have to be complicated. With Hostinger's beginner-friendly tools, whether you choose a website builder or WordPress, you can go from idea to published in under an hour. Don't overthink it, just start. Take your path, claim your domain, and begin sharing your voice with the world. Your blogging journey starts today, and I'm glad I can be a part of it. And hey, if your blog blows up someday, feel free to give me a shout out. But honestly, a like on this video would do just fine. That's it for my video on how to create a blog. Now I wanna hear from you. Do you have tips on starting a blog or is there anything you're still unsure about? Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. We're always looking to make these videos more helpful for you, so don't be shy. And hey, if this video gave you the push you needed, give it a like and subscribe to stay in the loop with all my content. All right, enough talking. Go build that blog and I'll catch you in the next one.